it is good for us to be here. God's presence makes everything wonderful. The presence of God makes everything good. Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack Friends, brothers and sisters, nothing can stop God's plan for your life. Reflect and be blessed. Jesus took with him Peter and James and John and led him up a high mountain apart by themselves and he was transfigured before them and his clothes became dusting white such as no one on earth could bleach them. And there appeared to them Elijah with Moses who were talking with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus, Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Peter did not know what to say, for they were terrified. Then a cloud overshadowed them, and from the cloud there came a voice, This is my son, the beloved, listen to him. Suddenly, when they looked around, they saw no one with them anymore, but only Jesus. As they were coming down the mountain, Jesus ordered them to tell no one about what they had seen until after the Son of Man had risen from the dead. So the disciples kept the matter to themselves, questioning what this rising from the dead could mean. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, my dear friends. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Transfiguration. And our Gospel for today talks about the appearance of Christ in radiant glory to Peter, James, and John. Jesus transfigured before them. It means he was changed. Transfiguration for some biblical experts. This event is what they call glimpse of glory. Or if you are a movie producer, we call this one in the movie a heavenly trailer. You know, trailer. Or in the books, we usually call this one the preface. So the, re the, the transfiguration, biblical experts call this one glimpse of glory. Because glimpse of glory in a sense, it is a taste of what it is to come. Glimpse of glory because it clearly tells us that there is heaven. Friends, there is heaven. Our dream, our goal is to reach heaven like Elijah and Moses. We should aspire heaven. We should aspire, we should desire to be in heaven. Because, you know, if we know how awesome heaven is, like Peter in today's gospel, we will say, it is good for us to be here. 
it is good for us to be here. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, three points that I would like to share this morning. First, the main challenge is for us always to desire heaven. Every day we commit mistakes. Every day we cannot avoid sometimes that we, we commit sin, we fail. And because of that mistakes, because of that failures, because of that sins, sometimes the glimpse of glory became blurred. But every day in the moment of our life, always aspire to be in heaven. In heaven, it's eternity. How to be there? What we should do to reach heaven? The readings of today suggest us the following. Number one, listen to the beloved Son of God. Listen to the beloved Son of God. Listen to Him because as what our responsible Psalm is reminding us, He is the Lord. He is the King, the Most High over all the earth. To listen to Jesus is to find our salvation. Listen to Him. And second, to reach heaven, let's have our daily experience of transfiguration every day. And this experience leads us to a dazzling white moment. You know, it's good to ask ourselves this morning, what areas in our life that needs bleaching? What areas in our life that needs to be dazzling in white? Is it the way we think, the way we speak, the way we behave? May the prisoners, may the people of God, simple and ordinary events of change is a transfiguration moment. And what is interesting is the movements of transfiguration is not upward. That's the ways of Peter. He wanted to stay at the mountain. Lord, if you wish, I could build three tents. One for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. For Peter, the transfiguration is an upward moment. But Jesus, you know, he told them at the end of the gospel, as they were coming down the mountain, Jesus ordered them. It means... Transfiguration is a going down to the ground level. In short, to go up, we need to go down. And that's the way it's our God. Transfiguration is always going down. Maybe putting it in our lives to minimize our vices, to slow down, to minimize our addictions. That is our daily moments of transfiguration event. Finally, today is first Friday of the month. Personally, I would like to to thank you for your first Friday enthusiasm and devotion because our first Friday devotion is a concrete proof for me a concrete proof of transfiguration moment you stay for a long hour during the adoration why? 
because you are telling the Lord and you are echoing the words of Peter. You stay here because you are telling the Lord it is good for us to be here. It is good for us to be here. Lord, thank you because of you it is wonderful indeed for us to be here. And God's presence makes everything wonderful. The presence of God makes everything good. I hope in putting it into pra in practice in our daily events in our life, you always say to the Lord, and you always, when you attend the Eucharist, may it will remind us, Lord, it is for us to be here. It is said that, you know, Moses is leading the Israelites from Egypt to the Promised Land. And according to the story, Moses never reached the Promised Land. He never reached the promised land. It was a long journey for them. But what is interesting is, he never reached the promised land, but he reached heaven. He was with Elijah in heaven. Maybe there are moments in our life that we are looking and longing for our promised land. And until now, we never reach it. But what is more important, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters? Even if you don't reach your promised land, be sure that we will reach heaven like Moses. Because when we experience the fun, like Peter, we will say, Lord, it is wonderful, it is good for us to be here. 